different philosophies that my parents taught me when growing up when it comes to money is this idea that it's okay to have some nice stuff, just don't let your nice stuff have you. I think what a lot of people hear me say, you don't live on a budget, you need to be saving your money. And for some reason, people hear, oh, that equals having no fun and not buying anything, which is completely not true because I like to buy stuff. I'll be the first to admit it. So it's not an issue of, of having stuff, but it's having stuff in the right perspective and in the right way. So this idea that your stuff can have you, well that can happen in two different ways. Number one, your stuff can have you through you making it an idol, that it is your identity, your contentment, your happiness, your value is wrapped up in that thing, whether it's your laptop, your car, your clothes, your vacations, your house, whatever it is that your identity is that thing. And that's when stuff and money can become extremely dangerous. And so you have to find your value and your worth in something else other than stuff. And second, they can have you when you go into debt. Proverbs says that the borrower is slave to the lender. Now, whether you agree with Proverbs or not, it is a true statement that when you owe someone something, your position changes. So when you owe on your car and you owe on your student loan and you owe on your purse and your vacation, then you're not free, you're a slave to whoever lended that to you. So at that point, your stuff owns you. And that's not a fun place to be. And so that's why I believe, you know, in paying things with cash and saving up for those things. And some people really believe that having stuff is bad. And, and I don't go that far. I just say one of the quotes my parents say, that it's okay to have some nice stuff. Just don't let your nice stuff have you.